This is going to be a Beast Mastery Pack Leader Quick Guide for the War Within Season 1. I do want to say Pack Leader is not the absolute biz and best hero talent to go for. Dark Ranger is, and I have done a guide for that in the playlist on my channel in my Quick Guides. However, it is a really fun hero talent to play, and it's a lot better for open world, low mythic plus, and for the more kind of casual player, if you will. So we're going to just jump straight in with the set bonus here. Barb shot further increases your pet's attack speed, and your pet's attacks have a chance to increase all pet damage um, dealt. So very simple there. What is barbed shot? That is this one here. Basically, you fire it on your enemy, and it can stack up to three times. It's going to regenerate some focus, which is a resource, um, and increase your pet's attack speed. So you can see I've got two stacks of Frenzy, and for every barb shot we spend, we get an extra stack of that up to three. So TLDR, keep up three... Oh, <laughs> wrong button. Keep up three stacks of your barb shot on your pets at all times. Next up we're going to use is Dire Beast. Summons a powerful wild beast that attacks a target, increasing your haste and generates a bit of focus. Use that on cooldown. It's only every 20 seconds. Then use your kill command just before you use your Call of the Wild. Basically, giving your pet the command to kill uh, with two charges, doing a lot of damage. Then use your Call of the Wild, where we're going to be, as you can see here, calling in pets from our stables to attack our enemy. And every time they actually attack, it's going to reduce the cooldown of both our Barb Shot and Kill Command. So do try and keep your Kill Command kind of off cooldown, or on cooldown, should I say, before you use Call of the Wild, just because it helps not um, kind of overcap on your Kill Command and waste stacks. Then we've got Bestial Wrath, basically doing a low, turning your pets into bloodthirsty savages, um, into a rage and increasing all damage you both deal. And its remaining cooldown is reduced by barb shot. So you can see here the cooldown. Watch when I use barb shot. Cooldown cool goes down massively when I use it. Then we're going to use any remaining kill command um, charges. By the way, use your barb shot when you see this proc here. It's from this here, Furious Assault, where it basically just the cooldowns reset and it does more damage. Then we're going to use um, kill shot. So basically. This adds Serpent Sting. You can only use it to load health targets, but when you do use Kill Shot, it will add a dot of poison damage. Dot is damage over time for 18 seconds for called Serpent Sting. So use your Kill Shot there to keep up Serpent Sting whenever possible. Use any remaining charge as a Barbed Shot. Then use your Cobra Shot if Beastial Wrath is up. If it's not, move on to Explosive Shot. I'm just doing an Explosion Shot, basically. Use any Kill Command, even if your Serpent Sting is already up. And then use Cobra Shot as a filler, costing 35 Focus. Um, or in AoE, use uh, Multi Shot for multiple targets. So again, Barb Shot, keep up your Frenzy Charges on your pets. Use Dire Beast on cooldown, use Kill Command just before Call of the Wild. Use Beastial Wrath, then use any remaining charges you've got of kill command use your procs on barbed shot use kill shot to keep up serpent sting use any remaining barbed shot charges then use your cobra shot if beastie wrath is up if not use explosive shot use any kill commands you can even if serpent sting is already up and then use cobra shot or multi shot as your focus dump and that is pretty much the main rotation we've got primal rage here as your bloodlust Keep up Hunter's Mark before you go on to com into combat. This is going to basically mean everyone does more damage to the target when the target is above 80% health. We can then use Exhilaration or Survival of the Fittest to reduce how much damage we take. Aspect of the Turtle deflects all attacks and reduces damage you take again. And then Aspect of the Cheetah is a movement speed increase spell. And those are the main ones I really think you need to know about. Looking at the hero talents as a pack leader... Um, first one is Vicious Hunt. Kill Command prepares you to viciously attack in coordination, basically meaning an additional amount of damage is done with your next Kill Command. Your pet does more damage. Um, your pet does more damage. Your pet does more damage. Furious Assault, which I explained, is actually from the um, Hero Talents. Kill Shot deals more damage and increases the bleed damage you both deal. Um, Kill Command increases the duration of Beast Cleave, which is this here, basically where your pet um, does damage to other enemies after using Multi-Shot. TLDR, the pack leader hero talents aren't that exciting. They basically just make your pets do more damage, basically. Vicious Hunt and Pack Coordination now stack and apply twice and are always active during Call of the Wild um, as well. Again, increasing that cooldown we have. And that is pretty much it for Beast Mastery. 
Do check out the playlist you see here, as I have done um, a quick guide for Dark Ranger as well, which is the kind of more meta or min-maxing kind of build for Beast Mastery um, Hunter this season. You can also check out in the description my Patreon, where you can get access to LVI profiles, macros, and also access to me in Discord, where we can give you priority one-on-one -on -one support for any spec you may need.